Welcome back once again, everybody, to WZ Sports Day Raleigh 2023. This is going to be the second sport of the event. That's going to be basketball. We see three teams currently locked up in the standings at 2-1 apiece. That's green, teal, and crimson. Pink team with a rough start to the event at 0-3 will be looking to bounce back here as we get into the first game coming up of basketball, which will be crimson team versus pink team. Again, basketball rules are going to be the same as the last few times we've seen it, so I'm not going to waste your time going over the rules. Let's just get straight into the action. Here we go, game one of basketball getting underway here. We've got pink team taking on the crimson team. Uh, Crimson coming into basketball as the favorites here, so Pink is going to have their work cut out for them. They've got TK Haller and Anks as the starting lineup versus Crimson with Wally, Grimace, and Nathan as their starting lineup. And already we can see some nice pass, pass work going on from the Crimson team, but uh, they won't land that shot, so Pink will have the possession here. TK getting pressured by Nathan. He will try to get by. Goes for a bit of a spin move and into a shot, but it's way short, so... Now Grimace is going to try to put the moves on Haller. Passes to Wally. Wally's going to go in for a drive. Maybe. Oh, it looks like Anks was knocked over. Or my just fell. Oh, Nathan really close with that uh, two point attempt. But not quite going to land it. And it'll go out of bounds. So it'll be Pink Team's ball. Pink Team currently sitting at 0 3 in the competition. They could really use a win. Crimson at 2-1, has a bit more breathing room to work with. Oh, Anks will get by, and a nice layup there. Great play by Anks there. We have not seen a lot of offensive success from Anks in previous sports days, so uh, that's nice to see right there, as Pink will jump out to a 1-0 lead. A nice passing from Wally and Grimace. Well, great move there from Wally. Uh, hesitates a bit, then goes for the fadeaway jumper and lands it to tie the game up right away. Crimson going to put up a lot of pressure on offense, and Pink is going to have to do their best to keep up with it. Anks now with the ball. He's got Wally on him. Wally goes in for an aggressive steal. Not quite going to land. Nice pass to TK. TK hesitates and lands the shot. That was a good idea for him to wait there, bait out the block attempt from Nathan, and then land the easy shot. So Pink will lead it 2-1. Grimace will go for a 2. Not quite going to land. Anks with the rebound. TK behind the back, pass to Howler. They'll try to make the advancement. Howler getting blocked off by Grimace, though. Go for the aggressive pass. TK will not be able to finish that, but they will still retain the ball. Ooh, a little bit of a desperation shot by Howard there, but he will get a handle on it, and uh, I think the call was jump ball, pink's ball. Um, and I personally don't exactly know how the ruling on that works, but it was Wally's call. He obviously one of the more knowledgeable basketball players here, so we decided to trust it. Nice steal by Grimace there, but will he be able to keep it in balance? He will. And now Wally will threaten on offense. Taking his time here. Nice pass back to Grimace. Grimace fakes the shot, tries to get a little more in there. Nathan gonna go for a two again. Still pretty close, but not gonna quite land it. Respect the ambitious attempts though. Power with the pass to TK. Not gonna land it. Wally with the rebound. Anks guarding Wally. Anks has had pretty good defense in the past, so it makes sense to put him on Wally, who's by far Crimson's biggest threat on offense. Bit off camera, but I think it was out on Crimson as far as I know. So as we get a slight break in the action here. Still just 2-1 to one is the score, so not a whole lot of scoring happening early in this game. And Pink is doing a good job of hanging in there right now. In a match they are definitely not favored. Grimace with a quick steal on that pass attempt by Anx. And now Crimson will make their advancement forward. 
I was playing some aggressive D there. Well, he'll get through, and he won't land it, but he'll get the rebound and make it anyways. So, a critical offensive rebound there to complete the point and tie up the game at two. We're gonna pass it to Anks. Anks will pass it right back. Wally with a really early jump there, and it looks like a foul as well on the Howler from the jump. So it'll still be Pink's ball as a result. Oh, nice pass to TK, but he couldn't really handle it, but ends up completing the shot anyways. So that'll be another point to the Pink team. considering his options Nathan with another two this one will land though and that's critical for the Crimson team as they will take the lead off of that they now lead it four to three off a two-point shot from Nathan first time we've seen Nathan play basketball since Atlanta sports day which was the very first Sports Day event. He was in Philly Sports Day, but did not play basketball there. So, it will be interesting to see how he fares overall. Nice start to this game, obviously, with that uh, two-pointer. That one, though, is going to be short and will be out of bounds. So, Pink will get the ball back. Ooh, Howard goes for the pass to TK, but Wally was in between, so he will get the steal. Go for the two-pointer, just not going to land. That was practically in, squirt it out. Anx now with the ball. Pink doing some nice passing here. But can they complete it? Oh, great pass there, but oh, Anx flumps the layup, unfortunately. So Crimson will get the ball. Oh, wait, no, Pink still has it. TK goes for the two-pointer. Not quite going to land. Wally will get the rebound. It looks like Howler was up, getting aggressive there, but I think Crimson's got it. Not going to go for the two this time is Nathan. He will... Oh, what a great pass by Wally to Grimace, and Grimace completes it. So a great sequence there by Crimson. They get a point on the board. And now they lead 5-3 to three in this game. TK will check the ball in this time around, look for an option to pass. Power will get open. Let's see if Pink can convert something this time around. Ambitious pass attempt by Howard there. It will be stolen by Wally. Wally will go for the two. Not quite going to land, but Grimace gets the rebound, and he will complete it. Great play there by Grimace to get that point. And Crimson now doubling Pink's score, 6-3. to three. So this is kind of more along the lines of what we are expecting to see coming in from this matchup. Uh, Crimson with a very stacked basketball lineup in this event. Wally and Grimace both extremely um, potent players in basketball. And as I believe TK was fouled there, so Pink will still get the ball. A little bit of a passing back and forth there. TK, we're going to consider shooting. He'll pass it back to Howler instead with the defenders in front of him. Howler getting guarded by Wally. Pass to TK. The shot is way short. Um, oh, but it was another foul, actually. I believe Nathan fouled TK that time. So Crimson playing some aggressive D in this game. There have been quite a few fouls already. So Pink will still retain possession of the ball. Oh, uh, Nathan, whoa, it's hard, I don't even know what happened there. Nathan got the steal off from Howler, and then Howler got the steal off from Nathan, but I don't really know what happened. I think there was some confusion over if Howler had to take the ball back or something, and uh, from what I recall, Wally just decided to just reset the play, let us check it in. Uh, nice pass from Angst to TK, and TK's breakaway, so he will get that point. 
in for sure. That's four points now for Pink. They still trail by two as we cut ahead a bit after a bit of a delay. Uh, well, you'll get that by to Grimace and Hole. Really ambitious fade away by Grimace and almost made it. Wally getting really aggressive there and he will get the point. So that will be 7 to 4 for Crimson. <clears throat> Games to 11, remember. So Crimson closing in on that on that 11 point. Oh, Anx tries to get by, wasn't able to do it this time. But he got the ball anyways behind the back to Howler. Howler's going to have to consider his options here. Oh, Grimace almost gets in there, but not quite. And Wally will get in there, so another turnover, and it will come in costly as Wally instantly converts the two-point shot, and now it is 9-4 for Crimson. Pink getting a little sloppy now with these passes. There have been a number of turnovers in this game. Crimson also playing great defense, so that is part of it. Let's see. Oh, and uh, <laughs> there's another case of it. Oh, no, but... Anx actually was fouled by Grimace, and in a big way, this is actually an event-ending injury for Anx as we cut ahead. Anx had his shoulder dislocated. He had to be rushed to urgent care as, as an unfortunate accident, of course, but Grimace unfortunately did dislocate Anx's shoulder there. So Larry will be subbing in for Pink and... Uh, that's, for the most part, gonna, aside from about a minute in soccer that you'll see later, that's the last you're gonna see of Anx in this event, so that's a big blow to Pink Team, as that was a great break by TK and a, a nice pass by Howler to get the assist. Pink trails by four, Larry subbing in, he will have to try to make his mark on this game as Pink has their work cut out for them. A two-pointer would end this game. Nathan goes for it there, but he isn't gonna land it. TK gets the rebound, passes it back to Hauer. Larry getting involved now. An ambitious two-point shot by TK. Larry saves it actually, but Wally will get it anyways. And oh, that's a really great pass to Grimace, but oh, Grimace uh, rushes it a little bit and isn't able to complete the shot. So uh, Pink staying alive. Pass over to TK. He tries to get aggressive to get in there. Um, doesn't land the shot though. So now Crimson has the ball. Wally goes for the two. And he will land it. And that's the game winner, folks. So Crimson takes this game 11-5. Hate to see the injury from Anx. And an event-ending injury at that. That's going to be brutal for the pink team. As they now fall to 0-4. And they've got their work cut out for them. Crimson, on the other hand, improves to 3-1. Yum. Game 2 of basketball getting underway here now. We've got green team going up against teal team. And this is an interesting matchup because I think coming in, these are two teams we see as pretty evenly matched in this sport. We've got Spec, Irik, and King as your starters for teal. And... Doobie, Brawly, and Joseph as your starters for green team. As Brawly puts on the moves there, and he will land a beautiful shot and get green off to a great start here. one nothing. So Teal, much like volleyball, you've kind of just got a well-rounded team here. Uh, Spec showed up pretty big in Philly. Irik just missing that shot. King will get the rebound, though. But, oh, Joe able to get the steal. And we saw a lot of that from Joe in the last sports day in Austin. He actually led the league in steals. And he just does a Euro step there and lands a shot for a 2-0 lead for Green. So excellent stuff by Joseph there. And we saw um, Joe's been making big steps in this sport since uh, the first time he played basketball in a sports day event was Phoenix, where he did struggle a lot, but... Um, in Austin, we definitely saw notable improvements. Uh, Broly, of course, is a basketball phenom. I believe to this point he has yet to lose a basketball game in Sports Day. And he leads the league in points per game, among other offensive categories. Doobie, not known for his basketball ability, but he will at the very least play some good D. Brawley with the ball now. 
as that one will get away. I'm not sure who that was out on, if I'm being honest. I think it was out on green, so it'll be teal ball. Uh, Irik historically has struggled a bit in basketball, but we know the potential's there. And along with Speck and King, this could be a solid team. As Speck will miss that two-point shot, he made a lot of those last time we saw him in Philly. Irik almost with an insane shot there. King short. And we have historically seen struggles from King in WZ Sports Day basketball. But he's another case, I think, where we know that potential is there. And we will just have to see if it comes to fruition. Speck with the pass to Irik. Irik with the pass back to King. Green currently up 2-0. Teal is going to want to try to get back in this game. It's a two-point shot by Irik, but it is not going to land. And do be wide open, actually, but King is waiting in the wings. Brawly goes for a nice move. The pass to Doobie is perfect, but Doobie is not able to land the shot, unfortunately. So Teal now will have the ball. Speck not able to get through those, through those defenses. He will pass to Irik, who goes for an ambitious two, and he doesn't land it. And this is a problem we've seen from Irik in basketball. Just a little too trigger-happy with the shots. He's got nice moves. He's got finesse. But the accuracy on the shots historically hasn't been there. And he might... Oh, Brawley actually, with the turnover there, not able to handle the ball. And it'll go out of bounds. As I was saying, with Irik, um, just a little more patience on the shooting. And I think we could see good things out of him in this sport. Uh, missed two-pointer there by Brawley, I believe. Joe actually will recover it, though, and the passes are going crazy right now. Let's see what Doobie opts to do. But he's being guarded. He's not going to have a good shot opportunity. King will get in there, but Joe ends up with it, and he will make the layup. Great. Great job by Green Team there, and they lead it 3-0. Teal still yet to get on the board here in this game. Spec with a great pass to King, though, and he will complete the shot, so that will get them on the board as this is now a three to one game probably with the ball always a dangerous thing let's see what he opts to do here starts with a bit of a drive just gonna miss though let's see if joe can get on the rebound he does wow joe actually accounting for three of green's four points in this game right now he is on fire to start things off here Let's see how Teal decides to respond here. Eric forgot to pass it in. <laughs> that is a rule here in our games, is that you have to pass it in. Um, so the play will continue with that in mind. King gonna have a chance here, and he's just not able to land it. Um, hard to tell what's going on here, but Teal still got the ball. Someone went out of bounds, and I think it was Teal, so it's gonna be Green's ball. And Joe actually here, interestingly, is going to sub out for Quint. So Joe was on fire, like I said, but he gassed himself. And now he needs a breather. So we will be seeing Quinn make his debut in basketball. This is not a sport that he is comfortable in or even wanted to play. But he will be tapped in here. And we will have to see how that affects Green's game here. As Joe was doing really well and now he's off the court let's see what happens brawly not quite able to land that drive back with the pass to iric how oh, the iric can't land the layup and we've seen a couple misses like that so far doobie with the ball now he loses it but brawly recovers it nonetheless now brawly gonna go in oh my oh goodness my what a move from brawly are you kidding me he does the double fake and a nice layup there to get another point on the board for Green. 5-1 now in Green's favor. As Spec will check the ball in shortly as the players collect themselves here. Quinn on Spec, that's interesting. Uh, Spec, uh, probably the biggest offensive threat on Teal, but I guess it's just a matter of height in this case. Eric lays an egg there, and now we are seeing Speck with a nice pass to King and a follow-through. Wow, what a great play by Speck and King there. 
Just love to see that team synergy coming into play. And Teal now trails by just three. We've still got a close game here. Raleigh, though, will try to make that not the case. A great pass to Doobie. Doobie will go in for the shot and just not in. So now Teal team gets the ball back. Let's see what Iron decides to do here. Doobie's giving him some space. He could go for the two, but we've not seen that working out so far. He will instead pass to Spec. Spec goes for the drive, but he will pass back to Iric. That's a one, actually. <laughs> Iric just a little too far up. He does land the shot, but he was on the line, so that's going to be a one and not a two. Tough break for him and Teal, but he does get a point on the board for them nonetheless. Now, Brawley will go for a two of his own. It's going to be short, though, and out of bounds, so Teal will get the ball back. And I think one thing to consider is how long is Joe going to stay on the bench here in this game? So Quinn is trying to play D, but he definitely would rather not be on the court if possible. He'll be the first one to tell you that. Doobie going to check it in for green soon. And in the meantime, we're getting a bit of weather concerns here. As you can see, the wind picking up. Um, there was some thunder, which you will probably hear on the recording at some point here. Um, so hopefully we can get it through as much as we can here before having to um, postpone in the case of a rain delay. Nice pass to Spec and oh a great shot there to complete it by Spec and it is now six to four in favor of Green. Uh-oh, Brawley's in the in the moves. I don't know why I just said. King passes it back to Irik, and he will pass it to Spec. That's going to be a two if it makes it. Doesn't, though. Doobie with the rebound. And he's got Irik guarding him aggressively. Pass back to Brawley. Let's see if he opts to go for two. He does, and it's not quite going to make it. Brawley, a very aggressive two-point shooter. We've seen that in his whole career, but he generally is very... Adept at making them. Uh, Doobie just going to make that, sh miss that shot, and the ball's just flying everywhere. And probably will finish that off for a point. A good job by him. As I believe we saw lightning on the screen a few moments ago, actually. And Hawk actually now is going to sub in for Irik. Irik's getting gassed. He needs a breather. And Hawk will be making his basketball debut here, as well as Quinn. So let's see how that shakes things up in this game, with Green currently leading at 7-4, and there's another bit of lightning I think I just saw there. Maybe a little bit of things to come, as there's more thunder. King will use his height to his advantage, but he's not able to land the shot. And probably going to go for a 2 now, and just misses Quinn with a rebound, I believe that's his first just interaction with the ball, and now... Hawk will get his own interaction with the ball as he will rebound that. That's a double dribble, though, unfortunately. Hawk going to have to refresh himself on the rules after that one, unfortunately. But, um... I think, yeah, it'll be Teal's ball. I don't, I don't really know what happened there, honestly. I think there was just some miscommunication. So, Teal will end up with the ball. Nice passing all around. Spec just going to miss that shot, though. Quinn with another rebound. Good stuff by him. Passes it back to Brawley. And, oh, great shot by Brawley. Just swirls in there. A nice two-pointer to put them up 9-4 to four in this game. And Green is actually starting to pull away pretty comfortably at this point. Teal is going to have to string some points together in a hurry before this game gets away from them. Let's see what Hawk opts to do here. Looking for a pass, self-pass, effectively. And oh, what a shot by Hawk, wow. That's one way to make your debut. He makes a great shot there over the shoulder. And he will get Teal up to five, a much-needed response point. I reckon to sub in for King now. They're trying to manage their energy as best as they can with these subs. And Joe's still on the bench for Green. Remember, he started this game off really strong. What a save by Irik. Spec will end up with the ball. And let's see if he can take advantage of that save. But he's getting guarded aggressively. Irik will go for the two. Not going to land. 
And do we will get the rebound? So let's see what Green's response is to that. Probably gonna go in. That should be money. Oh, it won't land. Wow. Spec will get the rebound. And goes for the pass to Hawk. Also not quite gonna land. Let's see what happens here as Brawly is putting the moves on Irik. And he will not be able to get by though. Good D by um Irik. Brawly will still have it. And it's not gonna land that shot. So uh, great defense there as Teal will end up with it and Spec will take it back and then drive it in So that will be six point of the game for Teal as they trail by just three It is important to know a two-pointer for green would straight up end the game. So Pretty dangerous seat as Joe will now sub back in in crunch time for Quinn Two-pointer for green would end the game, so they are, Teal's going to have to consider that on defense. Aggressive pass attempt there by Brawly going to go out of bounds. So Teal will get the ball back. Or actually, perhaps that deflected off of a Teal team member because green actually will have the ball. By the looks of it. So Brawly could end this game with a two, but Teal is knowingly defending with that in mind as a raindrop falls on the camera. Ollie looking for his options. He'll get through, and wow, what a drive by him there. Just a great play, as that will push Green to game point now. Now any score would end the game in Green's favor. And Brawley will be looking to do just that. Joe gonna go for the two. Just misses. Wow, that would have been a great two to cap off an already great game for Joe. Irik is gonna get through. Goes for some acrobatics there. It's not gonna work. Doobie will get the rebound for Green. Uh, a little bit of a fumble of the ball there. I believe it was out on Irik. Green looking to. Take this one. That shot's gonna be short by Brawly. Hawk will get the rebound for Teal. We'll pass it to Spec. Spec considering his options here. Goes for the two. You can understand why. It's not gonna land. Teal needed a two, really, in this situation. Brawly will go for the one. It's not gonna land. He'll go for another. It's also not gonna land. Just can't put the finishing touches on it. Joe will try to get in there. Not gonna work. Spec. With the pass back to Hawk. Shot's not going to land, though. Goes for another two. It's not going to land either. So Spec having trouble with the twos this game. As Brawley will miss one as well. Joe with the pass to Doobie. Can he get the game winner? Not quite. Spec not going to go for the two this time. And a pass to Irik. He's going to go for it, however. And also will just, just not land it. A lot of missed shots for Teal, unfortunately, in this game. Brawley will go for the two, and he will land that one. That drains right through there. And Green will take this game in 12-6 fashion. Uh, ended up being a pretty convincing win for Green, so that's a good sign for them moving forward here. They will improve to 3-1. and one. Teal will fall to 2-2. Two and two. Oh my god! Oh my god! Game three of basketball getting underway here. We've got pink team going up against teal team. Both of these teams lost their first game in basketball. So they are both looking for a redemption game here. As Spec will not quite land that shot. Uh, TK Howler, Larry, the starting lineup for pink. Anks out for injury, like I previously said, as Larry will kick that ball out of bounds. Um... As for Teal, they're going to start off this game with Spec, Irik, and Hawk. So King on the bench to start. But they utilized subs a lot in the last game. So you can assume we might see that again this, this game. As they talk about a little bit about the out of bounds on on field. I believe um, the call out actually ended up being that Irik was out of bounds before Larry kicked it. Nice pass by Haller, but Larry's not going to finish it off. And Howler won't either, so Teal is going to end up with it. Let's see what Irik opts to do here. 
Pass back to Spec. Goes for the two. Not quite gonna land. Larry with the rebound. Let's see what Howard decides to do here. He's gonna go aggressively for the point and not quite gonna land. Irk will end up with it. And he's wide open. Let's see if he goes for the two. He does, and he lands it. That's a great shot by Irik to get Teal off to a 2-0 lead just right off the bat. And we saw him struggling with those two-point shots in the last game. So that should build up a good bit of confidence for him here, too, to start this game. As he's got the ball again. Tries to get by, but he loses control. It's only a kick if the defense does it. And uh, Pink will end up with the ball. They're going to check it, I think, because of a kick or something. He'll try to get open there. He will. Let's see what the move is now. Irik on D. TK pushed to the back. He'll throw it up to Howler. Larry will get open. Let's see what he opts to do. Hawk guarding him. Uh-oh, Larry loses himself a bit, but Howler ends up with it. Pass back to Larry. And doesn't land the shot. That's rough. Um, out. Oh, it's in, actually. And TK's open. Let's see. Oh, but Irik really quick there to get back on D. And that's going to come in crucial. Larry, a bit too panicky on that shot. Rushes it. And Teal will end up with it. Spec with the pass to Irik. Misses that wow. shot as well. So we're seeing a lot of mistakes so far. The three-pointer is up. And... <laughs> It'll miss, but Howler will get the rebound on the fly and convert a point off of it. So Pink on the board cuts their deficit in half. Steel leads it 2-1. to one. Pass over to Hawk. Nice pass to Irik. Irik goes for the spin move, but the shot's off. Oh, but that's going to be... Larry keeps it. No, he doesn't keep it in bounds. He did go out there trying to get the rebound, unfortunately for Pink. So Teal will get the ball back right in their hands. Why is everyone over there? Back with the pass to Irik. Back to Hawk. He's open for the shot, but he's not quite going to land it. He gets the rebound. Oh, loses it a bit, but ends up going in for the kill and it's not gonna land so Larry with the rebound pink will retain their possession for the time being nice pass to Howler and Howler will take his time oh but he won't make it yeah. <laughs> and Molly will walk in front of the camera there but didn't miss much oh TK loses it and Irik will take it aggressively but now Howler gets in there what is happening oh my goodness a lot of aggressive like D being played TK undershoots the two and we've been seeing that a few times now he's getting frustrated with that Irik understandably after that chaotic play wants out and King will sub in <laughs> Uh, again, like the uh, like the last two games, we're seeing a slow start to this game as far as scoring goes. Not a lot of points being put on the board for either team thus far, as Teal still leads it two to one. Howard will pass it to TK. Oh, what a block by King! Wow. Just denies that point outright. It will be Pink's ball, but a great block by King to den deny the layup attempt by TK. Haller is going to start here. Passes it to Larry. Passes it to TK. Back to Haller. Larry trying to get open, but King playing good D. And now there's a bit of a tussle over the ball. And I'm not sure who that was out on, but I think it was pink. So it'll be Teal's ball. Oh, quick pass by Spec, but it's out of bounds. It's a little too quick on that one. 
because the quality of play in this one so far has been pretty low. But someone's got to pull away at some point. TK will try to get open, but Irik's playing pretty good D. Larry with the ball now, but King is ready on defense. Pass back to Haller. Haller has a lot of defenders on him. He's going to have some trouble here. I believe Irik kicked that one off the course, so that will be Pink's ball still. That's what I'm saying. And starting to a little. some yeah. chatter in the background about the weather. Uh, it's getting I worse really and worse. There, but like soon enough, we're gonna be. There he goes for the shot. Not quite gonna land. Yeah, T will get the rebound. And the weather at this point in the game is getting close to unplayable levels. That shot is short. King will look for his options, but with the defense, he won't be able to. King with the ball. And a uh, good D by Pink there, won't let it happen. Spec gonna try to go in another pass to King. And we're just seeing the same thing on a repeat right now, it feels like. Spec gonna go for that pass move. Iric will have a chance. Not gonna land, but King will get the rebound and convert the point. So finally we see another point scored in this game. Teal takes a three to one lead. The thunder is rolling in. Larry tries to make a drive, but it will be stolen by Speck, who will go for a two and not quite land it. Now TK will look go for a two of his own. Also not quite gonna land, but Howard will get the rebound and get the point. So Pink down just one now. As this game is looking like it's going to be postponed pretty soon here. Eric will go for the two. Not going to land. Holler gets the rebound. Pass to TK. Fakes the shot. Tries to go in, but good D by Spec there. As TK will now have to reconsider his options. Loses the ball, but he will collect it before it goes back behind the half court line, which would be out of bounds. Behind the pass. Behind the back pass to Larry. Pass it to Haller. We'll get another pass off to Larry, a really good move by Larry, but he just can't complete the shot. And now we've got a battle for the ball in the back lines. Howard will save that. TK will get it, goes for the two. Larry gets the rebound, can't land the shot, but now Howler will actually complete it. So finally they get the point out of all that. And now the game will be postponed due to the weather. What are you wearing? At three and three, tied up. Already. So now this is actually a new day <laughs> we are yeah, right. resuming the game my teammate on it is the, <laughs> the next camera. day oh! eric almost gonna land a two straight away there but uh how do we get the strip from king looks for uh passing options oh larry loses control of the ball gets stolen by eric teal oh oh that's gonna be out of bounds Unfortunate sequence there by Teal as Pink will get the ball back. Still tied up at three here. Where are you gonna look? He's gonna need help. Power trying to get open for that help. He'll get there eventually. TK open at the two-point line. They will lose it though instead. So Teal will get the ball back. Uh-oh, King will land that shot. Nice pass and a nice finish. Teal takes the lead, four to three, your current score. He'll try to get open there. The pass will be deflected off of Irik out of bounds, so... Or maybe not. I think it was actually... Not, so Teal's Paul. Instead, Spec will... 
Go for an ambitious shot. Not gonna land. Uh, but King will end up with it nonetheless. TK with the steal. And lands the two straight away after. So that was a costly turnover for Teal as TK took advantage and landed his first two pointer of the day to give Pink the five to four lead in this game. Passed back and forth by Teal. Speck will go in aggressively with the pass to King though, but oh, King won't land it. He will get the rebound though. Speck at the two line and he will land it. So Teal will take the lead right back. Six to five, a nice response from Spec and the Teal team. So we've got a close game on our hands so far. Let's see what Larry can do here. Haller with the ball now. Not gonna quite land that one. Eric gonna go for the two, and he lands it, so another two, two consecutive ones for the Teal team, and that is gonna swing this match in a big way, just five to four to five to eight, just like that. Teal leads it by three, and Pink is now on the back foot. Those two pointers are so impactful in this game. you are not gonna quite land that, Howard will get the rebound. And turn it over as King will get the steal. Spec trying to put the moves on. He will lose control of it though, but he will retain the ball. Pass it to Irik. Gonna go for another two. Not gonna land that one. And Pink will get end up with the ball as Haller will get the rebound. Let's see. A uh, great play there by Haller. As uh, Larry put the screen on and Howler took full advantage, making a big drive and finishing the shot. So Teal just up by two, but wow, just like that, Spec with a really nice pass and King um, converting well on those this game. Howler with the quick pass to Larry. He's not able to land the shot. And now Howler... Get a bit desperate there, and he will lose the ball. That might have been a foul, though. No, I don't think so. That'll just be a turnover instead to Teal. Let's see what Spec Ops do. We'll go for the two-pointer to end the game. Not going to land, though. Teal with a 2 would end the game, that would get them to 11, so Pink is in trouble here. They are going to need some points quick to get back in this one. Larry trying to advance forward, we'll pass back to Howler, Howler goes for the shot, not going to land, King gets the rebound, Howler will get the steal though. Playing some good D. He'll put the screen on, but Howler will be blocked off by Irik, and King will end up with it. Spec open. Let's see if Irik passes it to him or tries to do it himself. Spec will end up with it. He will try to advance forward. Kind of trips over himself. Irik will go for the two. T with the block attempt. Irik's not going to land it. Whoa, that would have been a crazy hook shot, but not quite. As I believe that ball was out on Larry. So Teal's still going to retain possession. Nine to six in favor of Teal right now. Speck going to go for the two. And he lands it. That's a game winning two for Speck. 11 to six for Teal is your final score. That was a long one, but Teal ended up pulling away because of some crucial two-point shots. And that was the name of the game this time around. Teal, off of that win, will improve to 3-2 and two and keep pace, as Pink will unfortunately fall to 0-5.
Game four basketball getting underway, and this is a big one. Crimson team versus green team. Both of these teams are sitting at three and one in the standings right now. This will be a big game to decide which team will take the lead moving forward. And uh, a great matchup here too. I mean, Crimson the favorites in basketball, but Raleigh is no slouch. And Joe also played a great game last time around. Uh, Unfortunately, injury report here. Reminder, this is day two that this is being played because it got delayed due to rain. And on the evening of day one, we played soccer. And during soccer, Doobie, unfortunately, suffered a event-ending injury in the form of a ankle injury. Uh, which actually ended up putting him on crutches, so uh, some rough injury luck so far this time around. As you gotta remember, there were also a couple injuries sustained before the event even. Namely, Grimace hurting his foot, uh, tripping over a branch, and Tuck actually hurt his back deadlifting. We did see him in volleyball nonetheless, but... Uh, haven't seen him make his appearance here in basketball. As Crimson, in the meantime, jumped out to a quick 2-0 lead. And Barley looking to respond, but this game's all Crimson so far, as they will get the ball right back. Wally with the pass to Grimace can't really see, because Larry is standing in front of the action, <laughs> unfortunately. But, um... Crimson with the ball... So yeah, uh, do be injured, you won't be seeing him in this game, Quinn will be in the entire time, and so that puts a lot of pressure on his shoulders, as, and it, frankly, will make things tougher here for green team in this game. Uh, Wall with the pass to Grimace, considers going for the two, but ends up trying to push forward brute force instead, Wally now. Go for a bit of a spin move, not going to land the shot, gets the rebound though and lands it anyways. So it will be 3 nothing in favor of Crimson to start things off. And Green already in a bit of a hole here. Joe with the ball. Passes it over to Brawley. Let's see if he'll go for a 2. He will, but it's not going to land and Nathan will grab the rebound. While he considers going for the shot, he will pass it over to Grimace instead, who lands a great hook shot. Wow, that is just excellent stuff there from Grimace, as he will extend Crimson's lead to four. And Joe actually hits Grimace in the stomach with the check, which is not what Grimace needed at this point. Already... Uh, working through a bit of a foot injury. Probably will consider his options here. Probably playing hard D. And I believe got a touch on it, so that one... They don't get in there, and that's gonna be a point for Crimson. Great stuff by Wally there. Manufactured his point, that point on his own, basically. And Crimson is now leading at 5 nothing. Green is gonna have to respond quickly. Well, he'll go for the two. Not quite gonna land, Nathan will let it go. So Crimson will get to reset here with the ball. And Nathan nails Grimace with the ball in the foot, which is injured. So, it's getting worse and worse for him, but the good news for him is Crimson is leading this game 5-0. Well, he's taking his time here. Uh, out on Brawley, I believe.
Makes sense that Crimson would try to take it slow here. There's definitely more stamina to go around on the green team, at the very least from Brawly. Wally gonna go for a move there, doesn't land it, but once again, doesn't matter if he doesn't land the initial shot if he just collects that rebound. And that will make it 6-0 for Crimson. As they have had full control over this game up to this point. Probably gonna try to make something happen, and he will. Nice drive there by him. Gets green on the board. They've got a lot more work to do, but that's a good start. And a great sequence of events there from Brawly. So Nathan will check it into Quinn. Wally will pass it to Grimace. Joe's got his work cut out for him, and Grimace will have none of that. He will get the point for Crimson, as Joe is having some trouble guarding him. Understandably so, Grimace is not an easy player to guard. And Crimson now leads at 7-1. to one. Wally with the pass back to Joe. Wally goes for the two-pointer, and it's short. And Brawley's going to have to make a few of those if they want to get back in this game, because they currently are trailing by six. And Crimson, pretty shortly into this game, already is kind of knocking on the door. They're only four points away from hitting that 11 mark. There's the pass to Grimace. Oh, but Grimace will rush that one a bit and isn't going to land the shot. Pass back to Wally, goes for the two-pointer. Not going to land. Brawley with the rebound. Pass to Joe, pass back to Brawley, and can't complete it though. So Crimson will end up with the ball anyhow. There's the pass to Grimace, and not gonna land it. Oh, he goes for the two, that one's gonna bounce up out of the course. So that will be Crimson's ball once again. As they are sitting pretty with a 7-1 lead. He's with a little pass to Wally. Brawly gets a touch on it, but Wally will end up with the ball nevertheless. Grimace with the pass back to Wally. Wally's gonna see if he can complete this point, and he will. So, 8-1 to one now in favor of Crimson. As this is the biggest discrepancy we've seen today, so far. Let's see if green team can respond. Well, he goes for the two after some fake outs and he'll land it, so that's a much needed two points for the green team, as they still will trail eight to three, but that's a good start. Now Crimson will look to respond, try to keep the momentum going in this game. Wally not going to quite land that shot, Joe will get the rebound. He'll pass it to Brawley, he'll go for another two. Nathan slaps it and Brawley will end up with it and actually... Oh, not going to quite land that though. Goes for another two, bit of a block by Wally I believe. Joe with the ball... I don't know what happened, I think there was a foul. So it will be green team's ball. And you can definitely see Grimace is struggling through some pain right now. We'll see if that plays a factor moving forward in this game. As luckily though they have a comfortable lead to work with. Joe goes aggressively and he will land it. Nice move by Joe there. I've seen a couple of those today from Joe. Definitely something he didn't seem like he had in the bag last time around. But now we're seeing him put the moves on. Grimace is going to go for the fadeaway and it'll squirt out, so Green will end up with the ball. Joe will go for the two. It's off though. Nathan will get the rebound and pass it straight to Wally. Nathan definitely being a lot less uh, aggressive with shooting in this one. I don't think he's gone for a single one. Oh, Grimace really rushed that one, and Green got the ball back as a result. And a two-pointer by Brawly, and just like that, this is a two-point game all of a sudden. Crimson leads at 8-6. to six. 
And suddenly the momentum is on the side of green team here. However, Crimson still does retain that lead. A nice pass by Wally and a nice shot by Grimace. So they will take the momentum right back and get themselves within striking distance of that 11 actually. A two pointer would secure the game for Crimson right now. Green though is gonna not wanna let that happen. Brawly gonna try to put the moves on, but Wally's playing good D. Brawly, let's see if he goes for another two instead. He will do just that, and he will land another one. Brawly on fire right now with these twos, and they are now within one point. This is crazy. Crimson was up 8-1 in this game, and with Brawly's two-point shooting, he has brought this back to a one-point game. 9-8. Wally will go for the game winner. It's not going to land, and Wally's on the ground, though. Might have been a foul. I actually was not looking, if I'm being entirely honest. It looks like it was a foul by Brawly on the Wally, so Crimson will get the ball back. Wally will go aggressive, and he will land that point after a great drive and a layup. So now Crimson actually would win it with any point. So Green is going to have to be aggressive on defense. Quinn has not really gotten involved in this game. He's going to have to... Oh, but right on cue, the pass over to Quinn, but he's not able to handle it, and Nathan gets the steal. Oh, but Grimace a little too antsy with that pass, and it will go out of bounds. So, uh, extra life for Green here, as that very well could have ended the game. But now Green will stay alive and look to keep this game going. Probably tries to go forward. The pass to Quinn, he didn't want any part of it, but he does collect it and pass it to Joe, I believe. That was a foul though, and Grimace is really in pain. And speaking of pain, there is Doobie on his crutches, foreshadowing a later injury that is yet to happen uh, in these videos. I don't think I missed anything though. But he will not be appearing in the rest of these basketball games. Nathan with the rebound, passes it back to Wally. Joe got in there, but it will be Crimson's ball. Crimson just needs one point to seal the deal here. Grimace goes for it, but not quite going to land it. Great rebound by Brawly. Goes for the two, not going to land. Wally will end up with it. Let's see what he opts to do. Loses control of the ball. The question is, who was that out on? It was out on green, so Crimson will get the ball back. Nice pass by Wally to Grimace, but Grimace was not exactly ready for it. They will keep the ball. Nathan with the game winner, not going to land it. First shot attempt I think we've seen from Nathan this game, and it's not quite going to land. Got a little too antsy, rushed it a bit. Probably now going to consider his options, as he's got Wally playing aggressively on defense. It's going to be hard for him to get a drive. Wally gets a touch on it. Probably will go for the two. Oh, it was in, and then it was out. That one's not going to land. And I believe... There's some disagreement on the call, but the call is that it was out on Grimace there. <laughs> so it will be Green Team's ball with that in mind. It's definitely hard to tell on the footage. Let's see what Joe opts to do. Just pass it back to Baller. Baller goes for the two, not gonna land. Let's see if Quinn can save it. He's not gonna try. And that will be Crimson's ball. Been deadlocked at 10-8 for a while now. Crimson just needs one more point to finish things off. Wally with the pass to Grimace. Crimson will, or Grimace will go for it. Not able to land it. Probably will go for the two. And he lands it. And that is a tie game. We are tied up at 10. A one-pointer will not do it anymore. You have to win by two. So now either of these teams... 
could walk this game off with a two-point shot. Or we could just see this game going for a while longer. It's hard to tell. Wally will go for the game winner, but it's not going to land. And it'll be Green Team's ball. So now Green Team has a chance here to do that same thing. We'll see if that's what Brawly opts to do. Joe will pass to Brawly. you got to imagine Wally's going to play some anti-twos defense. Joe goes for the game winner and is not going to land it. And oh, he almost barrels into the camera there. And that'll tilt it a little bit. His king will fix it up for us. Game is really coming down to the wire. We got a serious barn burner on our hands here. Wally will go for the shot, and he lands it. That's a one point shot. That will once again get Crimson into striking distance. They could secure it with any point now. Let's see what Green Ops to do. Joe trying to set a screen. Looks like Wally got a piece of it. Nathan gets the rebound. We're gonna pass it up to Grimace. Let's see what Grimace does. Pass it back to Wally. Oh, Wally gets the pass off to Grimace, but he doesn't land it. And now it'll be green with the ball. Brawly goes for the two, not gonna land. That's out on Nathan, so green will retain the ball. Brawly gonna have to make some magic happen. The pass to Quinn. Nathan's getting aggressive, but he's not able to steal it. Brawly gets through. Nathan is bowled over, though, in the meantime. Green ball by the looks of it though, so it wasn't a foul. And yeah, once again we're having weather problems here. Wally with the shot, not gonna land. Crimson with the ball now. Wally goes for the game winner and also not gonna land. Quinn will get that rebound. But Nathan is, has hands on it. We'll do some nice passing back and forth. Oh, but Joe loses control of the ball. That's tough. That will be crucial. Hey, great passing. That's great. <clears throat> As, yeah, once again, we're having weather concerns. Which was just very unlucky. Brawly will go in. Like Goes for a fade. Way. Not going to land it. That will be Crimson's ball. Crimson just needs one point to finish this game, but we've been here before. Nathan with the pass to Wally. Goes for the two-pointer, and it's short. That'll be out of bounds, because it was off the basketball hoop. Got a long game on our hands here. Probably pass it to Joe, who's pretty open, but Joe will pass it over to Quinn, back to Brawley, goes for the two-pointer, not quite going to land. Grimace will get the rebound for Crimson, nice pass back to Wally, Wally passes it back to Grimace, the passing back and forth. Now let's see what Grimace opts to do here. Goes for the fadeaway, not going to land it. Nathan with the rebound, shoots it straight up in the sky. Wally will go for the game winner. He won't make it, but he'll get the rebound and over the shoulder. What a play by Wally, and he's hyped. You can understand why. Crimson takes that game in 12-10 fashion over the green team. What a game that was. Instant classic there. Crimson improves to 4-1. and one. And green team falls to three and two in the standings. Red Robin. Yum. So it's time to get started here with game five of basketball. As you can see, we are now in an indoor court. That's because we got fucked by weather yet again. Wally goes aggressively, brute forces his way to the net, and starts Crimson off strong. 
with a point here against Teal. Um, yeah, we're in an indoor court now. We got rained out again. We were just luckily able to find this open gym um, and played out our remaining two games here. So you'll get to see a different kind of experience now. Indoor basketball in WZ Sports Day for the first time. Um, only for two games, unfortunately, as Kingle missed that shot. I grabbed the rebound. We got a nice angle here on the recordings. Uh, Anks went up upstairs and recorded this one for us. So nice point there by Teal in the meantime by King, and it'll be one to one. Oh, he's got the ball. He's back trying to play some hard D. The pass to Grimace. Well, he'll get the rebound and he'll shoot up. He'll miss it, but he's still got the ball. And yeah, just very aggressive there, and it pays off. Two to one in favor of Crimson. Eric will pass it back to Spec. He'll go for the two straight away. Not quite gonna land it. King gets the rebound though. Back to Eric. Not gonna land it. Grimace will get the rebound. Tries to put the moves on Spec. Pass back to Nathan, gets it to Wally. My goodness. Uh, just kind of barrels his way through King there and gets another point on the board for Crimson. We're now looking at three to one in their favor. Crimson looking to go 3 0 on the day in basketball if they win this. Eric not able to finish those shots off and now Wally behind the two-point line will pass his Nathan right back to Wally though Wally will take some time analyze his options King gets a touch on it but it'll be Crim Crimson's ball nonetheless Trying his damnedest to play hard D on Wally, who's been taking over on offense this game. And that'll happen there again, as that'll be a fourth point for him on the board and a fourth point for Crimson, as they lead it 4 to 1. Speck will pass it up to King. Oh, and Crimson ends up. Uh, knocking it at- oh, okay, it was out on teal apparently, as we'll cut ahead a bit. Uh, Wally will end up with the ball. He's gonna go in aggressive again. And doesn't land it, but gets the O rebound, and we've seen that so many times today. As Crimson will lead it 5-1. to one. Irik with a bit of a fake out there, that's interesting. Gets the ball over to King, and a nice pass there too, and King will con complete it. So, good sequence there by Teal as they get another point on the board. 5-2 to two in favor of Crimson as it currently stands. Let's see what Wally opts to do here. Tries to pass it over to Grimace, he'll turn it over though to the Teal team. And the passing's going crazy, but King not able to complete that shot. Grimace will get it back to Wally. Seeing that pass back and forth move between Wally and Nathan a lot. Wally will go in aggressively, and Jesus, he just brutalizes Irik and then slaps the ball away. Don't like to see that, if I'm being honest. But, man, uh... Yeah, it's plays like that, honestly. I'm no basketball expert, but it's plays like that that just make me wonder, what do you have to do to get an offensive foul? Because that was just brutal right there. As Spec will go behind the net, Wally with a great block. Eirik is going to try to put the moves on Nathan. Goes for the two, just not going to make it. Wally will get the rebound. 
Pass up to Grimace, and not quite gonna land. Iric will get the rebound. Six to two in favor of Crimson right now, so Teal's got their work cut out for them as it currently stands. Spec gonna try to go up for the layup, not quite gonna land. King tries to get... Oh, I, uh, Wally fouled him there, so that will be Teal's ball. <clears throat> Ball's in, Spec will pass it to King. Pass back to Irik. Irik now goes for the spin move, not gonna land the shot. And Wally will end up with it. And Irik is hurt on that play, it looks like. I believe that should be Crimson's ball, honestly. I don't think he got fouled necessarily, but uh, they'll give the ball over to T. Oh, okay, no, never mind. It'll be Crimson's ball. I was gonna say, that would have been a little weird. Uh, Nathan will pass it to Wally, and we've seen Wally in this spot a lot this game, and uh, Teal just has no answer, frankly, and Wally's just taken over this game. 7-2, uh, to two, all 7 of Crimson's points from Wally, doing basically just exactly what you saw there. So the question is, what will Teal do to respond? Eric's got a couple defenders in front of him, he'll pass it back to King. Nice shot by King there to get a point on the board for Teal. So they're keeping themselves alive here. 7-3 to three certainly isn't out of reach. Even with the pass over to Grimace. Grimace will pass it down to Wally. He's wide open for that shot. That will be 8-3 to three now in favor of Crimson. Eric uh, really liking that move this game, I see. Eric um, will get the rebound. Oh, but they're going to call time because Grimace is hurt. And that, like I said before, that foot injury's been bothering him. And the crowd wants Tuck. Grimace is hurt. Will Tuck sub in? We have not seen him in basketball just yet. But Grimace doesn't want any of it. He tells Tuck to go back and sit on the bench. Grimace is going to finish this game out for the Crimson team. They lead it 8-3. to Oh, and Eric gets through, but Wally gets the steal. And pass up to Grimace. Wally available on the back lines. Nathan wide open as well, but Grimace will try to do it himself. It'll be off the backboard, and Teal will end up with it. Nathan playing some good D on Eirik right now. Eirik gets ambitious there. And I don't know what just happened, honestly. I think there was some confusion, and Crimson will end up with the ball as a result. Pass back to Wally. Wally goes in, uh, just kind of bounces it off of one of the Teal members, so it'll be Crimson's ball after a bit of a cut ahead here. And... Ooh, not gonna land it this time. Almost saw the same old song and dance once again there. Spec has not had much of an impact on this game thus far. Oh He's going to try to make one. A nice pass to King. Pass back to Eirik. Oh, oh, that's it. Oh. Nathan looking to get the ball out of his hands. And yeah, just a little too ambitious by Eirik there on that pass. Wally will go for the two-pointer and he'll land it. Great shot there. Continues this dominant showing we've seen from Wally in this game. 10 to 3 in Crimson's favor, and Teal has a lot of work to do. Crimson's in on game point. Pass back to Spec. Spec will go for the two. Not gonna land. Grimace needs to take it back first, though. I'll pass it to Wally. Wally will get through, and that's the game, folks. A really dominant showing by Wally in that game as Crimson takes it 11 to 3 with Wally scoring all 11 points for Crimson that's insane Crimson improves to 5 and 1 and Teal team will be 3 and 3 following basketball Red Robin Yum.
Game six of basketball here. We've got green team taking on pink team. Uh, pink team really needs a win. Green team, on the other hand, uh, they don't need a win, but they certainly would like one, as it would help them keep pace with the crimson team, who has just improved to five and one. As uh, there's a bit of chaos there, it'll end with pink team getting possession of the ball. A win here would improve green to four and two. That would have them just one game back of Crimson going into soccer. Pink, on the other hand, pretty much needs to win out at this point, frankly, uh, to stay in the event. It's in, brother. It's in. Ball is going everywhere. Haller will end up with it. Tia goes for the screen. Larry ends up with the ball. He'll go for the shot. Not going to land. Haller with the rebound. Also not going to land. Joe will get the rebound. A uh, bit of confusion there. Brawley also uh, not wearing a sports day jersey, but he oh, is on the green so. team. I feel like that should go without saying. Has uh, Won't be any subs in this game, I can tell you that much, because Anx and Doobie are both out of commission for each team, respectively. Brawley with a nice pass over to Quinn. Delary will get in there and steal it. Haller now. Pass it over to Larry. Fakes the two. TK ends up with it. Howler open, but TK's gonna go for the shot instead. Probably not the move. Probably with the rebound. This is a, this is a 20 minute game. Like, guaranteed 20 minute Also game. got Hanks on comms. Like, okay, like actually 25, maybe. Nice yeah. rebound by Brawley. He will land the green. shot to get Green off to a 1 0 start in this game. At some points in this game, I think I'm gonna take a bit of a backseat on the comms so you guys can hear what Hanks well, has gotta say. That's it, that's it. Nice yeah, yeah, yeah. pass by Howler and a nice shot by pink. TK to finish it Sorry, off. Ties the game up at pink. one. It's just the truth. Hanks on the live commentary. You love to see it. As Brawley will uh, go for the two. Not quite going to land. Move by TK, but a bit <laughs> ambitious on the spin move as well okay. as Howler. <laughs> okay. Passes back and forth, and oh somehow out of all of that, TK will land the shot and convert the point for Pink. Lead it two to one. Thanks, is hype. Win with the fast rotation. Yes. Oh, and Brawley hits nuts. the deck. Oh my god. Nice drive by Joe, not gonna oh, land so it. Oh not gonna land the rebound either. Like oh, shoot, the two. Not quite gonna land. Oh, I'm not recording now, I'm not falling. Sorry. Uh, hard yeah. what's going on yeah. here. Okay. There we go. Out of bounds on Larry, I believe. So it will be Green's ball. Oh, he goes for the two or not a two, according to Anks. I think I agree. Either way, it wasn't gonna land. Oh my oh. God, TK got the. Hey! Oh my God! Wow, oh. what a play oh. by TK there. Oh. Whoa. Um, oh. just kind of puts oh. the moves oh. on oh. Quinn and Brawley yeah. there, and gets a point on the board Camera. for the pink team. <laughs> Three to one in favor of Pink now. Oh, Larry gets a touch on that one. Is it 3-1 or is it 4 Joe passes it back oh, to Brawley, goes for, Brawley. for a 2, and he lands it, and that'll tie the game. And we've been seeing that from Brawley all day. He just is a 3-point shooter. Fast pass to Larry, not going to land, though. No way, Quinn just fouled Larry. That is a sentence that should never have been uttered in my life. Uh, you heard it yourself but, there, folks. Quinn fouls Larry. Which, you don't hear that one every day. Haller does the Irik move. Larry not going to finish that one off. Probably will end up with it. 
Oh yeah. Oh. Quinn goes for the shot. That's the first shot attempt by Quinn. Not gonna land. Nor will Joe, but Joe just getting all the rebounds. Okay, no way Joe rebounds it for the 10th time. That's the Haller gets in there for the steal. Oh, that'll be a foul though by Brawley onto Haller. That ball was cracked at the end, but squirts out. And probably now is going to charge in there. Not going to land it. Takes the two, passes it to Joe, unfortunately. Joe hasn't even made it outside yet. Now he has. Now he's driving inside. And it's in. Wow, well that done. In. Well done by Joe there. That was, that was nice. Seen a few impressive drives Drive like out, that from in. Joe all day. happening here. The ball is everywhere. Half the lineup is on the ground. Brawley goes for the two. Not quite going in. Dude, TK has fucking win his slight. TK is like cool. behind the, the back move, behind the back passes, kind of going crazy right now. That'll be off on pink as Brawley. <laughs> Salutes the camera there. Flop, flop, offensive foul. Bit of a, offensive bit of a foul. flop there. Oh, 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 oh. oh, Brawley goes for the under the legs. Pass it over to Quinn, but Quinn will shoot it to the moon. Joe will end up with it though. I can tell, like, Quinn is just really nervous. Not fucking a land map by Brawley. Oh my god. Ambitious oh. shot attempt there, and it's actually fairly close. That's oh. how I'm show. Are you kidding me? Out on Larry is the call on the field, it's I believe. Out on Larry. That looks like Joe, actually. To me. Four to three, the score currently for Green. Again, sorry for the lack of commentary by me in this one. I'm trying to take a bit of a backseat so I don't talk over Anx's live commentary too much. But he didn't exactly commentate the whole game, so I also. Wow, that was a good sequence there, but TK not able to finish the shot. Can't see shit. Oh, he went for that. Oh my god! Cool. TK lands the two-pointer. It's a big one there as that'll give Pink the lead. 5-4 to four over Green in the game. Oh, it's 5-4. Five, 5-4, four. Five, four, five, four. Yo, yo. What that's, in the world that's a tech. am I looking that's at there? That's attack. That's attack. <laughs> oh, my God. Joe charges the way through there been. and gets uh, the game tied up, though, just like that. 5-5. Five to five. We got a pretty good game on our hands here. It's close, if nothing else. <laughs> oh, Howard keeps it in. No one's going to get that, though, from the pink team side. Oh, we'll get turned over green. Oh, he goes for the two. And right in there. Oh, it's just a beautiful shot there. Just drains it. For the green team at the moment. <laughs> uh, Underlegs attempt there and TK from... not gonna work. Oh, God. oh, if Quinn tries to rebound that one, he'll hit it out of bounds, so it'll be Pink's ball. 7 to 5 for the green team, and we really have physical confrontation. Ha Whoa, okay, that's a little excessive. <laughs> oh. Nice pass there by TK to Larry. Uh, Larry will finish it off. 7-6 seven to six six in favor of Green. Brawley is looking to make a bit here. A bit of a pick and roll bait. They end up not picking or rolling. And Joseph! Wow. It's a crazy 
loader looking shot. I don't think it was actually loader. Good stuff there by Joe. Playing well in this game. And Brawly as well, of course. Um, so I think it's 8 to 6 now. 8 to 6 indeed. Now we're in favor to shoot of it. Misses, sadly. Joseph really are be pulling it back out. Well, oh, he goes for a steal there. Up. Not going to work. Gets the Joe rebound. charges and in, but not able to land the no, shots. Gets back. Uh, TK going. Oh, whoa, 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 we went oh, for it. I think try it. Blocked by Wally. Joe plays a change. Changes his mind there. Oh, that's brutal. What were they thinking? That was a guaranteed point. If they just. Clear time. But it's all good. Yeah, Ank said it. Said it pretty well there. And Water Break going to cut ahead. And we're getting a celebrity shot here from Tuck. Has not played all day. <laughs> and he lands it. <laughs> Should have seen him in the Crimson Games. What the fuck? Anyways, getting back into the action here. With like green, green, starting with the ball. TK is absolutely on Joseph Rulliard, but they get to Joe's open side. Haller pulls it back out past the Larry, but he bounces it on his Are we foot playing soccer now? That ball bounced off of everyone's feet. Indeed. Indeed. It's immediate pass to Larry. Well, if Larry not going to land that one, how has got a bit of an opportunity here? Uh oh, a uh, foul at some point. I think Quinn fouled Larry again, honestly, which is funny. Oh, goodness. Is wide open? I'm not gonna see it though. He will try to get things done here. Pass to Larry. Larry lands it. Nice sequence there. That's a good ball. pass by Haller. Good shot by Larry. And this is a close game. Eight to seven in favor of Green. Eight seven Green. And, uh, Could definitely go either way. Well, he might go for the two. Fakes it. Now he's gonna go in for a drive. Not gonna land. Haller with the rebound. Pass over to get TK's not able to handle the pass though. Another pass to Larry, passes, that one uh, won't be handled. Off. But, uh, good. Good. Just a little bit less towards the feet of your uh, teammate. Got probably oh, the ball there up by one. Um, Howler really trying to steal from him. They do get it, but that was a foul, was a foul from Howler on the brawl, yeah. Um, so. Resetting. Brawl, going for the two. We'll put them at 10. Not happening today. Joseph put the ball. Passes it back to Brawl. He's back at the three-point line. Baiting with Howler here. Oh, what? Oh, they're resetting here. We're going to recheck it. Brawl, with another three. And that will put oh, them at Oh, what a shot. Team. 10 to 7 in favor of Green. So now Pink's on the back foot. Any point would uh, win it uh, for the Green team. Oh, with the rebound off of the shot. Oh, he'll try to finish this himself. Not quite going to land it. He gets the rebound. Uh, Lands on Joe in the process. Two here. Any, whoa, not quite going to land that too. Probably is still lurking. As, uh. Okay. Interesting little situation there. Not really sure what that was. Well, Joe will try to finish it off. Not quite going to do it, but he will get the rebound. And he gets it out because he wants it out, which is very understandable. Um, oh god, uh, is his finger okay? Oh yeah, he's, he's just resting, I think. Um, still on match point. Win with the ball. Now Joe Joseph has a chance. Not gonna get it. Alice gonna get the rebound. 
out of the three-point line. Passes it to Toad. Toad will shoot. Misses. Rebound Raleigh, but it gets taken by Joseph, and then by Howard. The ball just what, going what, everywhere what, there. What just happened? Okay. And TK will pass the ball to Haller. Haller will pass it. TK, TK will go for a bank shot in to bring the score. Good sequence to there by Haller and TK with some back, to, back and forth and passes, eight. and it will get them a point. 10-8. Eight. Eight. If they get a two-pointer, it'll be tied up at 10. But Brawley does not want to let that happen. Let's see what he's going to do. Spin move. Wow, great Shot move. In. And he seals it. 11-8 is your final for green. Congratulations to green team for winning that match. Close game there, but green does take it in 11-8 fashion. And pink, unfortunately, will now be sitting at 0-6 going into soccer. Green team improves to 4-2. They're staying alive in this competition. Oh my gosh, he got the... Here are your basketball stats this time around. You can see a lot of various categories and how each player stacked up in all of them. And to go along with that, your basketball leaderboards. I chose a few categories I thought were the most prominent throughout the day. Some offensive, some defensive. And now for your player of the game awards for basketball. Uh, you're going to see a lot of repeats here. So for those cases, I'm just going to kind of talk about them in bunches. Uh, Wally came away with the Player of the Game Award for all three of Crimson's wins versus Pink, Green, and Teal, respectively. Uh, he was just a really dominant force all day, as you can see by the numbers, scoring a ton of points in each game with good ratios to boot, and also uh, getting a lot of assists and blocks for that matter, so making it count all over the field. Um, the really standout performance for Wally was the game against Teal, where he scored all 11 of Crimson's points and just had absurd ratios as well in that game specifically. And then Brawley comes away with two Player of the Game awards. Both of Green Team's wins, I think Brawley was the clear and obvious MVP. Scored a ton of points, 9 and 8 respectively. And he was just shooting a ton of threes. He was really doing great scoring three-point shots and that's what Brawley does he just puts a lot of points on the board and then for the remaining game which was pink versus teal this was actually a pretty tough one to choose a player of the game from because it was a really whole team effort from teal they scored four four and three respectively so pretty even in that regard and then when you look at other metrics like the ratios assists rebounds etc it's still really close so i ended up giving it to spec Mostly because he got that game-winning shot, which is clutch. I mean, when you compare Speck and Irik's numbers in this game, they're almost identical. So this was really tough to choose. And it ended up coming down to that game-winning shot for me. So those are all of your Player of the Game awards for basketball this time around. So that's going to do it, everyone. Um, still got a pretty tight competition, at least between the top three teams moving forward. And our next sport is going to be our first merged sport of the event. It's going to be soccer, where we did play indoor merged 7v7 soccer for the first time. So stay tuned for that coming next week, and I'll see you then.